The University of Minnesota is a spatial university because spatial thinking is everywhere on campus. We have labs in computer science that are working on artificial intelligence, machine learning, data mining. We have several labs that are working with uh, remote sensing. U-Spatial supports spatial research on campus. We help people with mapping, spatial analytics, doing great things throughout all the departments at the university with mapping. We wanted to create an organization that would be able to take all the really good and amazing spatial tools, the analytic tools that we've been using in the GIS world, and share that with all the departments across the campus. And we're also integrating GIS into most of the classrooms. We talk about grand challenges at the university, things about you know how are we going to grow enough food for the populations, how are we going to work with you know the big problems such as increased carbon and that type of thing. And all of those have a spatial component, no matter how you look at it. Great example of a faculty uh, who's done some really cool things, who just got started with mapping, is a professor in the nursing department. She reached out to us and we worked with her on mapping uh, age-friendly cities. So it's something that the World Health Organization is looking at. We're all getting older. How do you make cities around the world uh, accommodate people as they're aging. So it's, it's simple things like curb cuts, it's lighting, it's having senior centers. And she was able to take ArcGIS Online and incorporate it into her classroom. So now she has her students, nursing students, thinking about how well is a city prepared for the aging population. She's made a map that's available to her students and to the public where they can add their own points. So it's a, a crowdsourcing map of where are the age-friendly cities and where are there areas that have barriers to that. So they've had thousands of people working with this. and She just loves working with the, the, the spatial uh, the tools and the mapping. A story of success for us is I think how broadly spatial thinking is reached across the campus. On ArcGIS Online we have 6,300 students, faculty, and staff with named users. Every department is using it and they're doing just amazing maps. I surprise myself all the time by looking through the galleries and seeing, wow, where did that map come from? And who is that person who's doing it? They're just doing some really amazing work. Us in the GIS field will look at it, well, it's not that complicated, but it's telling an amazing story with the map, and that's what's important. You know, the workforce of tomorrow needs to think spatially because we live in a spatial world. We're just scratching the surface with the researchers, and they're learning how to think spatially, and they're going to come up with some really great ideas.